I want to thank everybody for coming. Um, very excited to have you here. We have a wonderful program for you this evening. And, uh, and with my partner in crime, my friend, and the wonderful, and wonderful colleague, Jason Guberman, who is the executive director of the American Sparty Federation, who I owe millions of thanks. We welcome you here. Uh, and we thank David Dungour, the president of the American Sparty Federation, for all his help and support. We thank the Moise Safra Center for hosting us this evening in this gorgeous room with the beautiful chandeliers. We thank Zach for this wonderful riser and pictures that he made today. And uh, we thank you all for responding so quickly and so warmly to us. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, we gather today for a very different kind of commemoration for the Jewish refugees from Arab countries and Iran. In the past, we have told and retold the history of the Jews and these lands of expulsion and exodus, just like every year at the Pesach Seder. But in recent years, we handed a new angle. The new angle is that of hope in the wake of the Abraham Accords as they constitute a new and hopeful chapter. But today, to be honest, we're not ourselves. Today we hold this commemoration still in a state of shock and mourning over the horrors of October the 7th that took place in the south of Israel only a few weeks ago. The most brutal and unimaginable attacks on innocent civilians at the hands of Hamas, a group recognized by many countries, including the United States, as a Palestinian terrorist organization. And in the wake of these most vicious murders imaginable, we find ourselves watching in disbelief as huge crowds in major world capitals, including this one, shout their support for the killers, kick in glass doors of shops of Grand Central Station, tear down American flags and burn Israeli ones, leaving us to wonder in disbelief how could this have come to be. Why am I saying this now? because this annual commemoration takes place in the shadow of the UN and its refusal to acknowledge the Jewish refugees all these years while putting in huge sums into the one-sided support of the Palestinians and their narrative. Entire standing UN committees with large staffs are funded and promoted by the UN for the sole purpose of undermining any two-sided understanding and consideration or any hope for a genuine peace as mandated by the UN resolutions themselves. They are the source of BDS and more. The UN undercuts and flouts its own resolutions. The OIC, or the Organization of Islamic Countries, has enormous and outsized influence in the UN over its atmosphere, the power it wields over member states, the language used, and the votes. Do you know of any organization of Jewish countries? Tomorrow, the UN will host its annual day of solidarity with the Palestinians, which sadly has now been called Nakba Day, in support of the Palestinian narrative that November 29th was a catastrophe instead of an international effort at the time to create two states living side by side in peace. Moreover, the blaming and demonization of Israel for so many years has now boiled over into what we see in the streets and is being normalized on campus, as we will hear. This is not all of a sudden, although it may feel like it. It did not even start in 1975 when the UN passed the infamous Zionism is Racism Resolution number 3379. At the time, US Ambassador to the UN, Daniel Patrick Moynihan, said, quote, the United Nations is about to make anti-Semitism international law. It is not merely a measure name, aimed at Israel. It is aimed at Jews everywhere and liberal democracies everywhere." End quote. How did he know that then? Tonight we will learn more about the before, the longer story of all of this, from the eyewitnesses of then and from today's new generation. Uh, as I said, I am grateful to my friend and colleague Jason and the ASF for their hard work and partnership. I also want to thank 
Yisrael Nitzan, former acting consul general and deputy consul general of Israel in New York, who made the effort to be with us tonight as well. Thank you, Yisrael. Thank you all for coming. Jason.